Welcome along to highlights of match three between Lahore Kalanders and the Multan Sultans and it came from the Girafi Stadium, Lahore. It was the away captain, Sean Masood, who won the toss and they decided to have a field first. A pitch that looked a little bit old, maybe a, a little bit tacky at times, a bit of uh, live grass on it, but Sean Masood said that he wanted to have first use of it. Plenty of talent on show on both sides. Overseas players, Lynn and Dunk, Dame Villas and Akhtar go in with the experience of Shaheen Afridi. With the Multan Sultans, well, with Vince and Riley Rousseau. And just look at the experience of Afridi, Sahel Tanvir and also Imran Tahir. Right, here are the highlights of the Lahore innings. Runs immediately for Lahore. Can they turn this into two? Yes. And that's what you've got to have. Urgency in these first six overs and be at the top of your game immediately. That's a crunched away and the first boundary for Lahore Kalanders. You can hear the crowd. They want more of that. When he hits it, it stays hit. Whether it comes off the edge or not, he's just got such a big, powerful upper body. And it's been such a quiet start. He hates being fidgety at the crease and not doing anything. Oh, lucky. Three duck balls and then back to back boundaries. Mirfan's not happy. Tanvir continuing and he finds the gap. There's Fakhar Zaman for a boundary. Well struck from the local hero. Oh, that's big. Have a look at that. Even the umpire and had a move to that, didn't it? Six number 28 in HBL PSL 5. And that was so well struck. Yeah, a little bit too full from Sohail Tanvir. Get, allowed Fakhar Zaman to get under the ball. He was searching for a delivery, which, can, which should be a little bit up to him. He can get under it. And that one went 75 meters, went a long way. Eleven runs from the sofa. And Chris Lynn says, I'm not happy enough, I want more. Then he gets more. Big six, 17 runs off the over and still one ball to go. Lynn means business. He's not holding back. Using his feet and uh, hitting it far. That's a massive hit. Then he hits, it stays hit. Chris Lynn and Fakhar Zaman have been uh, dealing in boundaries and it continues as the over number four gets underway. 33 without loss, four fours and two sixes. And the home team looking good. He's managed to get it past uh, short fine leg and that will race away to the boundary for four. They're just going uh, pear-shaped, unfortunately, for Multan Sultans after they won the toss and Lahore, 40 without loss. Straight over the bowler's head for four. Chris Lynn says, bring on who you want to. I have one goal in mind and that's to keep the runs flowing. And he's up to 26 from 15. Wow, have a look at that. Even further, and that brings up the 50 partnership in style. That's a double tea moment for sure. Well, they're enjoying their tea and they're enjoying Chris Lynn, what he's doing. Spin into the attack, Moen Ali's first ball just gets it over. Wow, what excitement from Lahore here. What excitement from Chris Lynn. Bowling change, but no change to this batting effort. Can be a little bit of shock. It sets in for the bowlers. Shock gone. Lynn tried to go over mid-off. 
decided that he wanted to go after every single ball, and why not? And it's Moe Mali that got the wicket. To just go one time too many. Didn't quite get enough elevation. Mm, a well judged catch. Safe hands. What a start though for Lahore. 59 for one. Now it's Fakir Zaman. Does he get enough of it? No! What an over for Moin Ali. Back to back wickets. And all of a sudden, the Multan Sultans back in this game. Trying to continue this onslaught that we've seen so far. Just not quite getting enough on it. To win the over, 60 for two. Mix up, mix up and could be a big wicket. Walking off Ben Dunk. How have they turned this around? Brilliant from the Sultans. Both men here just looking at each other. Dunk committing too far, even in the frame. Play spin very well, Dame Villas is good between uh, the wickets as well, he's quick, a little bit of width and cut away. Outside edge. There's good bowling from Alfredi, and he doesn't get the rewards outside edge and back-to-back -back boundaries. Big appeal, has to be out, is out, went back to the wrong one, and now Freddy has his first wicket. They're going to have a chat about this, whether to the re review, and they do. You were right, Dirk Nanez. Cork is an umpire rubbish, Nanez, brilliant. The Hafiz and Villas will have the capacity, the capability to turn this around, and that shot tells you everything about it. Yes. Oh, will he be in trouble here? He is. The captain takes the catch, and uh, Mohammed Hafiz is on his way. Tahir is not doing laps, but he's certainly celebrating like a footballer. Again, very well bowled get a sense that Tahir knows when a batsman's coming at him, leading the fielder to take the catch. Just going away from him, Tahir, here you have it, that celebration, the energy, brilliant to see. Huffy is out for 14, it's 89 for four. What a shot. It just rates to the boundary. Oh, what has he done? And Imran Tahir is off on that famous victory celebration. Second wicket, and look at that. Well, he will count himself desperately unlucky. This was going to miss. <laughs> and he just managed to pull it back on. Understand exactly what he was trying to do, but on well, the fifth wicket falls. That's what pressure does. Dane Villas on his way for 19. It's 99 for five. That little uh, motion of going back in, he gets an inside edge. Multana grabbing this game. Ball oh, just starting back in. Is always going to come back into him. Cramp for room. Inside edge on to the stump. And Delanders going from bad to worse. He's out for 304 for six. All clever. Clever. 
And unfortunately, Imran Tahir can't stop it. Has to be a wicket. Caught and bowled. Poor shot from Shine Shah Afridi and a simple wicket for Sahail Tambir. Shine Shah Afridi thinking of smashing this out of the park. Uh, just looped up and went just off the playing surface. Only just held by Sohail Tambir. Afridi out for two, it's 114 for seven. Powered away, get a boundary, a little bit of bounce from the outfield. And is this the first ball that just gives Lahore a little bit of momentum, flies it all the way for a six. Yeah, good hit, strong hit. Shot of a length and he's thrown his hands at it, just managed to clear that mid-wicket fence. Full toss. Doesn't get enough of it. Straight down Alfredi's throat. Easy for him. And the eighth wicket down. Nowhere near that middle of the bat. It's there to be hit. But it's just almost made a clunk off the bat. And Alfredi's never going to drop that. Comfortable, easy as you like. Ralph goes without scoring. 123 for eight. Tanvir. Full. And does he get enough of it? Yes, he does. So one pitched up, but look at the wrist coming to work. Luckily flicked it over long on for six, and it's gone a long, long way. It's beautifully bowled in the slot by uh, Tanvir. Got it again. Slower delivery and heaved over the leg side. Two sixes in this last over. A little bit of momentum for the home side. Slow one, it sat up, but Suel Akhtar waited for it and then launched. And boy, did he launch it. I'll tell you one thing, I know you talked about Wakar Yunus talking about those slower bumpers. He wouldn't have bowled that. He'd have bowled it right in the foothole. You have one if you want one. Just be a single off the last ball, so the end of uh, Lahore's innings, and they get to 138 for eight. So after a fantastic start, 61 for two in the power play, thanks to Fakir Zaman with 19, Chris Lim with his 39. It was only really the captain, 34 not out, that saw Lahore get to a disappointing 138 for eight. Excellent bowling from the Multan Sultans. Expensive from the opening pair early on, but then pulled back by the spinners. Imran here with two for 21. Moe and Ali with two big wickets, two for 13. And Alfredi with his experience, four overs, none for 25. What that meant that uh, they needed 139 runs to win. The Multan Sultans will take a quick break. On the other side will be that run chase. The home fans will be hoping, really hoping, for some sort of magic from their team. Swinging ball down the leg side, wide. He steps away and is gone straight down the ground. And, uh, James Vince opens up for the first six of the innings. It's a cutter which has been picked up and deposited. He's worked that away really well and he's got a foot there. Unfortunately, it's across the boundary, but that was well struck from Vince. Six followed by, by four. Oh, he's cracked that away for four. With absolute disdain and Vince has owned this over. 
Oh, got him! Afridi strikes and the dangerous James Vince has got to make his way off the field. The crowd are up on their feet and you can hear them loving this moment. And delivers a terrific Yorker. Just angles back, hits the base of off stump and James Vince innings is over. Afridi produces a delivery that had to dismiss James Vince. Out for 18, 24 for one. Short and pulled away and smashed to the fence. First boundary for Sean Masood. Oh wow. Hit on the up and another boundary. Oh no, this could be trouble. Yes. The run out just when Masood and Moen Ali were stamping their authority on this game. Yes, and then he sells Moen down the river. He's dejected, and so he should be. Ali out for 11, it's 43 for 2. Oh, poor ball and put away. Powered. Like that as well. I like that. I think they certainly take that and they'll take those as well. Another four straight down the ground. That's what they needed. Visa into the attack. Well bowled. Off the middle and off, but really a horrible swipe across the line. Skipper falls for 38, 85 for 3. Oh, whipped away for four. Lovely shot. You can watch that over and over again. Nicely struck, and it will race to the boundary for four. He hit it well, and he found the gap beautifully. There you go. Good run once again. Good run, very good running. 100 up, 100 for three with one ball to go in the 12th over. They're looking for two here. Comfortable, very comfortable. Oh, direct hit. I think he's gone. Is he gone? You think he's gone? I'm calling it, I think Ooh. he's gone. Close one. Gone. One-handed pickup, out. Zishan Ashraf is gone. Is Harris Rose the man who threw the ball? Is there a twist in the tail? Ashraf gone for four. It's one or three for four. Wow, that is smashed. Oh, he almost had it. How good was the try? Wonderful try. He just bowled an over. He had to run all the way, at least 20 meters to his right, and then and, uh, and then try to grab it. He would have taken the ball with him if he would have caught that because the momentum would have taken him toward the boundary. But that is a super effort by Shaina Freedy. Well done. Well, now. They do have a wicket, and uh, a catch really well taken sees the end of Riley Rousseau. No control at all, and uh, nicely taken. Misjudged it a little bit. Oh, look at that. Look at that for a catch. Just grabbed it with one hand. Easy.
No problem at all. Chris Lynn. Five down now. Big wicket, big fish. One for 32. Harris Ralph, there he goes. There he goes. Owen oh, put down. And by a crowd member put down. Look how deep in the crease he is there. Steady. Simple victory in the end for the Multan Sultans. Now Freedy finishes it off in style. 21 from 12 from the veteran. And they win with 23 balls spare to spare. Oh, it's going to be a huge task to try and bowl the Multan Sultans out. The captain, Sean Massou, top scored with 38. Some good performances from Vince with 18. Riley Rousseau with 32. But it was the old hand shade of Freedy with 21 not out. Saw them get home with 23 balls to spare. The Hawk Orlando bowlers, they tried hard. Impressed with the pace of Harris Ralph, one for 40. Expensive, but pace on hand. A wicket for Shaheen Shah Afridi, one for 18. But it's simply they had not enough runs to try and restrict the opposition. Man of the match was uh, Imran Tahir with his excellent bowling. Four overs, two for 21. Wickets of Mohamed Afiz and Dane Villas seem to take that accolade and enjoy the night. 138 for 8, well, it wasn't enough because the Multan Sultans won quite comprehensively. 142 for 5 means that they won by 5 wickets. Hope you enjoyed the highlights of this match 3 and we'll see you again soon.